Everybody, this is Coach Joe. We're doing a little different series. People often ask me, what do I do? How do I train? Um, most important is to know why I train. What I do has a purpose. One, I play touch rugby still, not so much contact anymore. We've got the Asian Games coming up. Uh, I've been invited to come play for Malaysia over 50s and over 40s as well, the young guys. So I do a lot of training just to keep my legs strong for power and speed. And then the other one is boxing. So. On Mondays, my first day of the week is always uh, leg day. I do a lot of heavy training on a Monday, traditional resistance training to keep muscle mass, keep my legs and hips strong. And then I go into road work for boxing on the treadmill. And then I'll finish up with speed work for the arms, give the legs a break, just so I can connect for tomorrow's uh, session at the gym. And I also call Monday pizza day because after this crazy hard workout, I always reward myself with a big pizza. So it's kind of nice to be able to do that and look forward to those things. So let's get to it. So we finish up on the bike, just getting warm up. Actually, to be honest, I don't need to get too warm out here today, but it's part of the routine. And now I just go through a whole body stretch. One thing I'll tell you about stretching is before a workout, you're trying to loosen your body up. You're not going to create flexibility before or after a workout. That's flexibility training. It's a different thing. It's just to get you loose, ready for movement. So I start with my head, my shoulders, go down to my hip, my core, you'll notice it actually goes down to the ground, comes up. That flow just feels good. You find your routine, but after a long time, you get used to that. So I just start out loose. body done ready I heard my back crack I always know it's a good stretch if my back cracks so we're gonna get to it now you're gonna notice that in the routine push kind of pull push kind of pull is a primary mechanism that I'm following now the other thing is I also work in series I always work from do two to three week blocks 12 10 sort of uh, six to eight and then three to four I work through that constantly I've been doing it for years I just cycle between a little bit of hypertrophy work endurance work and then Power work gives me variety. Because I'm using weight training just to keep me generally strong, I don't need a on-off season, a heavy cycle. I'll we'll use that as I want. Yeah, today we're gonna to be doing sixes, heavy sixes. Probably three to four sets, somewhere around 140 to 160, 170 kilos. Yes. Now the set's getting a bit of weight. It's 110 kilos, not a lot, but I don't want to take any chances with my back. So I always warm up without the belt just to build a bit of strength in my core. We're going to add the two and a half on there. We're going to 165, 165 kilos, 2.2. You do the math, about 350. It's too easy. That was six reps at 165 of three quarter squat. And it wasn't easy, but I could handle a lot more. Just be so smart when you're loading. Take your wins bit by bit. And uh, yeah, keep your body strong and able to do something the next day. All right, so next exercise, like I said, hamstring. So this exercise was designed to help you, if you do squat and you're interested in squatting, to help you develop the ability of the lower back to hold strong at the moment of push. Because when you push, this happens. This all breaks down. So what this exercise teaches to do is go down into that stretch, drop into that position, come out of that position, and then pop forward. Extend the hamstrings back. It's a four squat. Go one, two, three, four, four. Hamstrings fire. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we're doing the four squat into a hop. So down's controlled. One, two, four. One, two, four. What I'm doing now is I'm doing a single leg step up motion. 
and the concentration here is so remember we started with squat which is primarily an extension a prime mover push then I went to the hamstring which is a hamstring pull now I'm back into the push but I want to go unilateral I like to do single leg stuff mixed in with double leg and I think most of your coaches know why and this one is not about heavy this is a little bit about explosiveness and a really good angle in my hips Last exercise now, we went push, pull, push, pull. It's a straightforward single limb hands, head, leg hamstring. But there's a couple little adjustments I do, again, to target the hamstring and what it does. So what I do on this exercise is I try and focus on one of them. And that is when that weight comes down at the end of the motion, I let the weight slam my hamstring at that bottom range and I contract against it. Just like my body would if I was extended and a stress or a force worked on that hamstring. So you'll see that. Starting out on that side, pull in. You see that snap, I literally bounce it. And then to the outside, outside. Now, the next thing is I always do three, three core workouts a week. This week is a full body conditioning circuit, three to five minutes. It's already on our YouTube channel. There's reasoning behind all the exercises, but basically your core has six primary motions and I go through them all twice. Pelvis, one, two. Rotation side to side. Stabilize the upper body. Lateral flexion, lifting the pelvis onto the rib cage. Make sure the pelvis is in front of the spine, not behind here. Next one is straight up flexion. Going to the toe, upper body. Pattern, left, right. Both pieces coming up. Pelvis coming up. Good face coming up. Side, I like to brace somewhere. It's the opposite of lifting the legs, now I'm lifting the upper body. I put a bit of pressure on my neck too, just for boxing. I flip over. Now we'll go into the back the glutes. And then the reverse. All right, so now we're going to road work. I tend to do my road work more times than not. So I do a series of workouts here too. I also like the fact that boxing is an interval sport, so I build this as a continuous interval session. It's 30 sets, all right? 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds at different speeds with different rest, equal rest. 30, 30, 30, 20, 20, 10, 10. Higher intensities, 15 minutes. It's equal to about three to four miles of running which is, you want about a mile per round. Part of the reason I do this workout, I just get bored easy. I don't want to run without doing anything else. So this is Monday. It's the hardest session of ancillary training. So we finished the traditional resistance, the core circuit, the road work, but I, now I'm tired. And what I love about that is that's the time you want to focus on something in small doses. So I like to train oxygen at least twice to three times a week. Right now for boxing, a lot of it's in through the shoulders of my hands. All right, I got my new all black with the green silicone on there, nice. I'm going with, uh, I want to go with just 300 grams. So there's 200 right at the list. I want wrist. I want it distal, really make me work. And another 100 grams proximal on the elbow right there on the outside. So I have to work on the turnover as well. Like I said, I'm tired right now. I just did 90 minutes hard. And I've got about 15, 20 minutes of light loading where I have to focus. It's going to feel terrible, but it's going to be good when they come off. And that's it, 300 grams. I'm going to work that with the gloves. Let's go to the bag. I'm taking that load off, the finishing lights, and 
we're going to take the sleeve and everything off. We're going to finish the last set nice and light. I want to feel good, so tomorrow, my training, I'm primed and ready for those young guys. Okay, last set, strip down. No more oxygen. Last set of the workout, two hours later. Now I just want to work speed. I want to feel good. Try and keep some technique. Feel like punches. Just feel nice, loose, light. Up, 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 up. up. I mean, it's loose. So remember. Finish light, finish loose, stay connected to your sport. Keep that traditional resistance training for your body, a little bit of your ego, and after a hard day, give yourself a pizza.